Good morning, and welcome to National Day of Prayer. This is a time in our country where for many years now, we have set aside one day to recognize and to remember the importance of prayer in whatever we're doing. And today we're going to show you some images and uh, categories for prayer that will lead you through a process of praying for many of the most important things in all of our lives. As we prepare to do that this morning, I'd like to read to you 2 Chronicles chapter 7, starting with verse 14. Then the Lord appeared to Solomon at night and said to him, I have heard your prayer and chosen this place as my house of sacrifice. When I close the sky so there is no rain, or I order the locusts to consume the land, or I send a plague against my people, if my people who belong to me will humbly pray, seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, forgive their sin, and heal their land. From now on, my eyes will be open and my ears will pay attention to the prayers offered in this place, because I have chosen this temple and declared it holy so that my name may be there forever. My eyes and my heart will always be there. I love this scripture because there's a call to obedience in there. It talks about us as the people of God and calls us to do some things that say, if my people, which are called by my name, will do these things, then there is the promise from God that comes following that. If you will, then I will. We'd like to ask you to take a few moments with us today as we pray for our nation, our families, our land. Let's just thank the Lord for the blessings we have as a church and as a nation, and let's remember them today.
We're grateful you've been with us for a few moments this morning. We'd ask you to continue to pray throughout the day as the Lord would direct you. We know that you are praying for us, and we want you to know that we are praying for you during these days. We love you, and thank you for taking a few moments and making prayer a priority today.